Ever wonder about Eddie Haskell, who was played by actor Ken Osmond, who was forever tagged as the ingratiating, troublemaking true and Eddie Haskell on the quintessential 50s family show Leave It to Beaver. Actor Ken Osmond did not manage much of a career after that stereotype. Ken was born on June 3, 1943 in Glendale, California, to Pearl and Thurman Osmond. He started appearing on film and TV prior to a sitcom success thanks to a typically insistent stage mother. Taking up athletic skills such as fencing and martial arts as well as diction classes, Ken and his brother Dayton made their film debuts as child extras in the Mayflower Pilgrim Tale Plymouth Adventure starring Spencer Tracy. So big, good morning, missed up and everything but the truth. He went on to appear in the popular shows of the day including Circus Boy, Annie Oakley and Lassie. Both public and studio schooled, Ken nabbed the key role of Eddie Haskell at age 14. With his tight, curly blonde locks, ugly sneer and intimidating stance, he became an instant sensation on the show, delightfully smudging up the squeaky clean Cleaver name on occasion with his nasty antics. As the two-faced buddy of teenager Wally Cleaver, Eddie was forever brown-nosing the Cleaver parents. You look lovely today Mrs. Cleaver. While showing his true colors bullying poor Beaver, nicknaming him Squirt, or goading Wally on to break some family rule or curfew. Kenneth Charles Osmond died at age 76 of cardiac arrest on May 18, 2020. He spent most of his 18 years of service with the LAPD assigned to Central Traffic Division where he was rarely recognized. He was shot three times in the line of duty. He retired on a disability because of his injuries. After retiring from the police force, he made his living from various Los Angeles-based rental properties which he maintained himself. Among the many rumors spread, during his life, was that Osmond was killed in Vietnam, that he was Alice Cooper, the rock singer. Due to his startling resemblance to legendary porn star John Holmes, a rumor started that Ken was actually Holmes and had quit the porn business to become an L.A. cop. Supposedly, his superiors in the LAPD weren't entirely convinced that he actually wasn't Holmes, and he was called in by the Internal Affairs Division to prove his identity. Holmes was renowned for the size of his male member, and Osmond stated that he settled once and for all the rumors that he was Holmes by a visual aids demonstration. He was a member of the American Legion. Jerry Mathers claimed that Osmond was the best actor on the show because he was the complete opposite of his on-screen character. 